Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. It is time for our weekly tarot and astrology reading here on this pretty day, Sunday, November the 22nd of 2020. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of some Tarot de Marseille trumps, followed by a little bit of astrology. As usual, it will be interesting, so please stay tuned. Okay, in a moment, three Tarot de Marseille trump cards are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. The cards I drew at random this week from the CBD Tarot are Temperance, the Devil, and Strength. Ah, what an interesting panorama we have here. The Lady of Temperance, the Angel, is looking towards the left, the direction of the past, we could presume. She is blending with her cups. She is pouring fluid from one cup to another. Perhaps she is assimilating or blending learning or experiences from the past that may be useful in the near future. As she's doing this, she's got her back to the devil. The devil's mocking her. He's making this motion, this silly motion with his hand as he has these two slaves uh, tied up to his pedestal. The other hand, he holds a torch. Now, the Lady of Strength is not looking at the torch. She's also <laughs> given her back to the devil. She's got her hands full. Okay, the Angel of Temperance now is the Lady of Strength, and instead of having the two cups, now she's actively applying this energy or this learning, this knowledge or wisdom, to controlling the mouth of this lion, which she is doing with great finesse. I think this is a very appropriate message, given that we're coming into the holiday season, Thanksgiving coming up in a few days. We have to watch out for our temptations. We have to watch out for our weaknesses, for our lusts, for our excesses. Yes, turn your back on them. <laughs> Don't eat too much turkey. <laughs> Hold off on that extra serving of pumpkin pie with whipped cream. <laughs> Whatever it is, that extra few cocktails, whatever, whatever it is, moderation is the key. And letting, learning and assimilating from past experience is going to be very useful as we start to go through what, for many of us, can be a difficult time. The holidays can always be challenging. Loss of loved ones, loss of friends, uh, you know, from the past. Uh, financial stress from dealing with all the demands of, you know, buying gifts, going to parties. And then you add to that, you know, trying to keep healthy with not eating too much or drinking too much or indulging too much in whatever. You know, it's, it's, a lot to, it's a lot to put on people's shoulders. So know that you can handle it. You can do it. It just takes that discipline and that wisdom, and we're all going to be okay. So looking at our astrology, we are in a waxing phase of the moon. We had the new moon last weekend. Now we're going into the secondary phase of the moon. It is still a good time for manifesting, not as powerful as the first phase right after the new moon, but still, still, we can manifest things that we want, attract things that we want to have in our lives, whether it's abundance, healing, love, creativity, whatever it might be, we can, we can do that. This is the time to do it. A good time especially will be tomorrow on the 23rd, on Moon Day, Monday, the moon is going to be making very nice aspects to several planets, including the sun. So this is a good day for any sort of magical thing that you may want to do. I highly recommend doing that practice tomorrow, whether it's visualization, ritual, meditation. That's going to be a fruitful time for that. The other days of the week, let's see, Tuesday. Tuesday, we also had a good aspect of the moon conjunct with... Mars. And Mars rules Tuesday, so this would be a good day to invoke for more energy or to invoke for uh, some levels of physical healing and self-defense. OK, 
Okay, if there's a need to be strong, to stand up for yourself, this is a good time to invoke that energy. Any time on Tuesday will be fine. And then we come around to Saturday. The other days, again, nothing particularly exciting, but Saturday, the moon will be making a good aspect with Saturn. So this would be a good day to invoke for things, dealing with limitations, dealing with housing, uh, taking care of senior citizens, uh, taking care of your own health if you're a senior. If you're facing any of those issues, that'll be a very good day to do workings, meditation, or visualization uh, for those for those areas. Well, there you go. There is your weekly tarot and astrology reading. I thank you for tuning in. I so much appreciate you. I really do. Thank you so much. Until I see you next week, many, many blessings.